Workers' Party WP Secretary-General Pritam Singh and Chairwoman Sylvia Lim were returned to their posts at the party's biennial conference on June 30, paving the way for them to lead the opposition party into the next general election GE. The party's cadres also re-elected the other WP MPs into the Central Executive Committee CEC, along with former party Chief Lo Thier Kiong, 68, in an internal election marked by continuity. The MPs are Algenit GRC, MPs Faisal Manup, 49, and Gerald Jayam, 47, Sengkong GRC MPs Heating Ru, 41, Louis Chua, 37, and Jameis Lim, 48, and Hogang MP Dennis Tan, 54. Party sources told the Straits Times that Miss Lim, 59 was again challenged by longtime WP member Tan Bin Sung, but prevailed with about two thirds of the vote to retain the post of party chair, which she has held since 2003. Mr. Singh, 48, was returned unopposed. There was a new addition to the CEC, former Pangal East MP Li Li Lian, 46, who had stepped down from the party's top decision making body in 2020. The CEC lineup remains unchanged, apart from Miss Lee returning. She was MP for Pangal East from 2013 to 2015, before ceding the single seat to pay MP Charles Chung in the 2015 GE. Pangal East became part of the newly formed Sengkong GRC in 2020, and Miss Lee is currently a town councillor on the W. Piran Sengkong Town Council. Rounding out the 14 member lineup are former GE candidates Nathaniel Koh, 41, and Kenneth Fu, 47, as well as Mr. Tan Kong, Soon, 47, and Mr. Ong Boon Yo, 42, a lawyer who started volunteering with the party in 2012. About 80 cadres cast their votes at the closed door conference held at the Hyun meeting and event venue in Clark Quay on June 30. Speaking to reporters after the conference, Mr. Singh said it was a fantastic result. We are looking forward to working with this CC for the next two years, he added. In a statement, WP said it will announce the CC appointments in due course. The new CEC has taken office with a mix of members of different ages and backgrounds, and has started work with immediate effect. In the past six months, WP has stepped up its outreach efforts, going to its usual stomping grounds to sell its Hammer newsletter and also making more house visits in areas it has contested in the past. The upcoming GE, due by November 2025, will be Mr. Singh's second at the helm. In his first election, outing as WP chief in 2020, the party achieved a watershed victory in Sengkong GRC. Only the second such multi-member constituency to be won by an opposition party. The WP had first achieved the feat in 2011 when it pulled off a shock defeat of the People's Action Party in Algenit GRC. After the 2020 election, Mr. Singh, was made leader of the opposition. But he has faced several crises in the past few years, most recently when he was charged in March 2024 with lying to a parliamentary committee. The committee was investigating the conduct of Ms. Risa Khan, 30, then a WP MPE for Sengkong GRC, after she admitted to lying in parliament about a sexual assault victim being treated shabbily by the police. Mr. Singh was asked in December 2021 about the matter by the committee, which later found that he had lied and referred the matter to the public prosecutor. In 2023, Mr. Singh also had to deal with the emergence online of a video clip that showed two key WP leaders. Mr. Leon Pereira, 53, and Ms. Nicole Sayo, 37, sharing an intimate moment. Mr. Pereira, who was then an Algenit GOC MP, and Ms. Sayo, who was part of the WP East Coast GOC team in the 2020 GE.
eventually left the party over the incident. Sunday's uneventful election signals that the party has close ranks behind Mr Singh's leadership. Commenting on the election result, analysts said WPE sent a signal of continuity to Singaporeans by maintaining the status quo. National University of Singapore NUS Associate Professor of Political Science Chung Jo Ian said the party appears to be keeping its footing despite the recent challenges. Singapore Management University Law Don and former nominated MP Eugene Tan said the result suggests party unity will not be a significant issue as WP gears up for the GE. Notwithstanding the setbacks, WP Chief Preterm's grip on power in his party has arguably strengthened with this party election, he added. At the same time, while Mr Singh's standing in the party is strong and secure, Cordres are also comforted to have Mr Low remain in the decision-making body, noted Institute of Policy Studies, Senior Research Fellow Gillian Cole, together with Ms Lee's return to the CEC. The party appears to be building on what it has and who it trusts, she added. Noting that Ms Lee had worked the ground before the 2020 GE in Sengkong GRC, Dr Ko said she will be a boon as WP plans its next campaign. Associate Professor Tang said Mr Lowe's presence in the CEC points to his continued relevance as a stabilising force in the party, adding that the respected former party leader may well contest the upcoming GE. NUS Associate Professor of Political Science Bilvia Singh said having established incredible former MPs who can step in will allow WP to weather possible shocks like the loss of one of its leaders. Meanwhile, Professor Chung said it is a positive sign that WP now has more women in the CEC, adding that political parties seeking popular support should strive towards being more representative of the population.